2009 and we're in an economic crisis. Not so long ago, people in Victoria found themselves in a really serious crisis and it's affected a lot of businesses. So the crisis in Victoria is a stark example of the sort of thing that can happen when you're in a financial crisis. The fires came through from the, we had a, a, a wind change, yeah. so the fires had passed us, but yeah. then next thing we've got them back coming back in on us. Mm -hmm. Oh no, they all, we didn't have time, because we right. throw them all in the back of the car, yeah. and on laps and seats and yeah. things, and drive out. Obviously you weren't touched, mm. but lots of people around you were. Oh yes, 400 metres up the road, yeah. the houses are gone. Yeah. And, Whatnot, so, but we were able to sneak back in the next day right. because the roadblocks had been set up but we knew a back way in so we came in so we could put all the dogs back. So what's been the consequence for your business out of all of this? Well basically the community's gone into sort of a downturn I mm. suppose you'd say they're not going away etc. Um, right. Everyone's been disrupted so basically for February there's been almost nothing in the kennels and March was pretty much the same. It's now starting to come back, but my Easter's probably a quarter of what I would normally expect. Right, okay. So most of your customers came from the local area? Most of them, yeah, yeah. Right. 80, 90 percent of the customers are local. Yeah. Yeah, because we've been going here about 10 years, so we got fairly well known within the local. Mm. And being a very small business, it's a small, very small kennel. Exactly the unit. Industrial fencing. Industrial fencing, yeah. which means exactly what? Chain mesh fencing. Right. Tennis courts, baseball flies. Security fencing. Anything like that. Yep. So you did, for example, uh, Melbourne Airport? Correct. Right. Yep. Okay. So, so now you're um, married to Anne. You've got the dog kennels down the back. Yep. And um, so you had the fires come through as well. So how's that affected your business and what you've been doing here? Biggest effect with me is uh, the bloke that works with me. Mm. Since the fires, he's had a stroke. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, he's only 45. The worry of no work from Christmas on onwards, right. plus the fires, brought it all on. So he lives local? He lives local, lives yeah. in Wondong. And what happened, is his house okay? Or? His house is alright, the fire right. didn't get into the village. Right, right. Stayed on the outskirts. And he's just worried himself out of it. Really? Mm. So you've suddenly lost a good... Uh, For the moment, yep. yeah. yeah. And, yeah, and how's that affected you then? Well, I've got to carry on on my own. Right. Until he gets better because I've got to put him back on because that's what he wants at the moment. So, these so I've are, got to leave that vacant. Yeah, so so the, these are the consequences of a disaster like this that yeah. really just little bits and pieces people don't really see. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Now look, I, I look around, you've got a lot of, lot of equipment here yep. and a lot of stuff. Once get your estimate, what would, this, what would be the value that you've got sitting in well, here? Well, if the you fire know? had hit this shed, I would have lost 300,000. Right. The shed itself is insured, but yeah. the contents isn't. Yeah. Where do you draw the line with insurance? Mm. Um, insurance is a big issue, isn't it? It is. Insurance yeah. is a big worry. Mm. And we're already paying a fortune on this place. I and mean, then now after the fires, we have concerns that's going to increase right. substantially. Right. Um, and insurance... A bushfire is very much like a recession. There are all sorts of consequences that you can't expect it can come up on you really quickly and however you're prepared for it there can be things that happen that you just don't expect to happen. Anne and Leon's business drops substantially very quickly. There have been impacts for Leon with the people that he works with and impacts that he couldn't have expected. Their insurance premiums they expect to go through the roof. So what do you do? You focus on business fundamentals and you keep at it. And one thing to remember is that like a bushfire, after the recession, there's always growth again. And that's what it's worthwhile hanging out for.